Hello friends. In today's class, we will be learning about properties of the nucleus. We will learn about two important properties of the nucleus in this video. The first property is the nuclear size. Let us have a quick understanding about the order of the size of a nucleus. The size of an atom is of the order of 10 raised to minus 8 centimeters. What is its equivalent meter? It is 10 raised to minus 10 meter. You should be thorough with this conversion between centimeter and meter. So the size of the atom is of the order of 10 raised to minus meter. We call this value as angstrom. So you should learn the value of angstrom. One angstrom is equal to 10 raised to minus 10 meter. And the size of the atom is of the order of 1 angstrom. The size of the nucleus is of the order of 10 raised to minus 12 centimeter. How many meters is that? It is 10 raised to minus 14 meter. So if we compare the size of the atom with that of a nucleus, we can see that a nucleus is very much smaller than the atom. The atom is of the order of 10 raised to minus 10 and the nucleus is 1 by 10 raised to 4 times smaller than the atom. And the nucleus is further composed of proton or neutron and protons or neutrons are composed of quarks. We will not be learning, we will, we, we will not be studying that. So this is the size of the nucleus of the order of 10 raised to minus 40 meter. Now let us understand an equation about the radius of the nucleus. We know if we add more number of protons and neutrons into a nucleus, that means if you are increasing the mass number of the nucleus, then its size should increase, right? If its density is constant, then its size should increase. Experimentally, it is found that the density of the nucleus is constant. So if we add more and more number of protons and neutrons into the nucleus, that means if we increase the mass number of the nucleus A, then its size should increase. That means the radius of the nucleus R should be directly proportional to the mass number A. It is found that the radius of the nucleus and the mass number are related as R equal to R0 into a raised to 1 by 3. So this is the relation connecting the radius of the nucleus and the mass number of the nucleus. The value of the constant R0 is equal to 1.2 Fermi. What is Fermi? Fermi is a unit and 1 Fermi equal to 10 raised to minus 15 meter. Fermi is a very small quantity. 1 Fermi is 10 raised to minus 15 meter and R0 equal to 1.2 Fermi. And if we substitute the value of R0 and the mass number into this equation, we can find the radius of any nucleus. Next, we are moving on to the second property of the nucleus, which is the nuclear mass. We know, suppose there are a set number of protons in a nucleus and n number of neutrons. Suppose the mass of the proton is equal to mp and mass of the neutron equal to mn. Then what should be the total mass of the nucleus? Since there are z number of protons and n number of neutrons, the total mass should be z mp plus n mn. This should be the total mass. We should multiply the mass of each, each of the nucleon into its number. So this should be the total mass of the nucleus. This is a logic, logical answer. But if we experimentally find the mass of the nucleus, the actual value is a little lesser than this value. We expect the mass of the nucleus to be equal to this value, but when we add when we clap together protons and neutrons in a nucleus, a little mass is lost somewhere. And that missing mass is called 
mass defect. So there is a difference between the expected mass of the nucleus and the actual mass formed. That term is called mass defect. We will be seeing the, this term in more detail in the later in the coming session. So somewhere this mass is getting missed. Now we will be defining another new term for you. It is called atomic mass unit. I have already told you the mass of the proton and mass of the neutron. Its values are given by mass of the proton equal to 1.6726 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilogram. And the mass of the neutron is equal to 1.6748 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilogram. These two masses are very small. For convenience, we will be defining another unit called atomic mass unit. Just like we will be, be defined angstrom and fermi for smaller units, we will be defining a new, new mass unit for smaller masses. It is called atomic mass unit. And we defined one atomic mass unit AMU as 1 by 12th of the mass of a carbon, carbon atom, C12 atom. So mass of C12 atom divided by 12. We know there are 12 number of nucleons in a C12 atom, right? There are 6 number of protons and 6 number of neutrons in a C12 atom. So if we divide the mass of the carbon 12 atom divided by 12, then it, it will be approximately equal to mass of the proton and mass of the neutron. Because there are 12 number of total number of nucleons and we are dividing by 12. So if we find the value of AMU by experimentally determining the ma mass of the carbon 12 atom, its value is around 1.6605 into 10 raised to minus sorry, 27 kilogram. raised to minus 27 kg is the ma atomic mass unit 1 amu. So its value is approximately equal to the mass of a proton and mass of a neutron. We are using carbon 12 isotope of carbon atom because it is the most commonly available car carbon atom. So in this video we learned about two important properties of the nucleus which are nuclear size and mass of the unit mass of the nucleus. Hope both are clear to you. In the coming sessions, we will be learning about more properties of nucleus. Thank you.